In section 3.1 of your textbook, we're going to discuss linear models, which will include many applications to illustrate how differential equations, <clears throat> especially linear uh, equations, uh, arise in natural and physical processing. Uh, the first area we're going to talk about, area one, with the uh, topic of growth and decay. And the basic IVP, initial value problem associated with these types of linear models, looks something of this form, where you have a quantity which you're looking at the rate of change of, dx dt, being proportional to the amount of substance that you have currently. So the form would be k times x, where k is some constant. We would say a constant of proportionality. And some initial condition is that you would know the substance initially. Let's say if t represented time, initial time we'd say it's t0. Could be zero, but not necessarily. And that would be some initial quantity x of zero. So that would be the initial condition. So the example that we're going to look, for, uh, look at in this particular topic area <clears throat> of linear models of growth and decay uh, will be bacterial growth. So we're going to do an example of bacterial growth. All right. And so we're going to make some assumptions and then build our model and then answer a few questions using the model. So let's assume that you have a culture. With um, a quantity of bacteria, let's say We'll let the quantity be p sub zero. So it'll be the population count. You could think of p as representing population. So we've got p zero bacteria. And you can also assume um, that at time t equals one hour. We'll say one hour. Let's suppose you've grown bacteria so that you would then have a factor of three halves p0 bacteria. So the bacteria has grown in the dish and it's grown by this factor of three halves of whatever you started with. The question we're interested in answering, there's the question, how long would it take? So how long, and that would be in hours. How long in hours will it take for the bacteria to triple. In other words, we've already know that after one hour it's grown um, to th uh, three halves um, P0. Now, if you're thinking it would be very linear, well, that's assuming that bacteria grows in a linear way. But it doesn't. It grows based on proportional to how much bacteria you have in terms of uh, in terms of population growth and you know basic mating and so forth like that. So the rate of change of the bacterial population satisfies this growth model. It's constant proportional times how much population you have. So this differential equation that I've written dp dt equals k times p certainly is linear and separable. Very straightforward to solve. We already know how to solve those. All right. And it would be very easy to show that the solution to that differential equation describing bacterial growth would be of the form the population at time t is some constant times e to that k times t. <clears throat> if you use your initial condition that we know that um, initially your population that you started with was some value p0, so p0 p of zero equals this quantity p sub zero, then it's easy to show that the, the model for this particular bacteria is of the form p zero e times to the kt power. So this then models and tells you how much bacteria you're going to have. So this would be the population size of the bacteria 
after t hours. Hours is the unit we're looking at here of time. The problem is, is the model's not fully determined because you don't know what this k is, right? I mean, that's great, but you'd have to know what that uh, constant proportionality is. So typically you have to have some other data. You'd have to, sometimes we call that ground truth thing. You'd have to have something else other than the initial condition to fully define this growth model. Do we have it? Well, there was this piece of information up here that said that you do know that after one hour you get a particular quantity. So that's helpful. So we know from the given data that um, P of one equals three halves P zero because we have some observation data. We know what the population does after an hour. Well, given the fact that we have a form of the solution, then we know that three halves P zero, which is the same as P of one, has to be according to the box equation up there, P zero times E to what? K times one being plugged in for time. And of course, the P zero values divide out and what you're going to be left with is that basically e to the k, because k times 1 is k, e to the k has to be 3 halves. Taking natural logs, that would mean that k is equal to the natural log of 3 halves, which is approximately equal to 0 0.4055. So now we have a very specific model for this particular bacterial growth problem that P of T is whatever you start with initially in your, in your Petri dish or your culture times E to the 0.4055 T power. That's more specific for this. And it's only because you had that extra piece of data. Okay. So you could even draw if you wanted, um, that doesn't still answer the question. The question was, how long does it take to triple, right? So the answer, the, again, the question was, for what t does p of t equal 3 times p0? That was the original question. So what would you do? Well, take that 3 times p0. We're looking for a particular t that achieves that. Set that, set that equal to what the specific growth function is now. Again, the p0 is a divide out way. And what you're going to have is that with natural logs again, you're going to have that 0 0.4055 times t is going to be equal to the natural log of 3. And that, of course, says that the time that it's going to take is the natural log of 3 divided by 0 0.4005 hours, and that's approximately about 2.71 hours. It's going to be how long it's going to take for it to triple from the original growth. Um, so if you were to draw a graph, we'll sort of illustrate, illustrate what this would look like here. If you were to draw a graph, Basically, in time is hours. P is your population growth there. This is your initial population, P0. This is 2P0. This is 3P0. That's the tripling of the population growth. <clears throat> what we've said is that if this is one hour, this is two hours, this is three hours, 2.71, somewhere about right here. All right. So we would achieve the tripling at that particular point that would be on this growth curve at time zero this is where you started is exponential based this sort of is an illustration of the shape of the growth curve again we do know that at, at time um, one it should be closer to three halves um, so it's going to be a little bit higher than p it'll be between halfway between um, p0 and 2p0 all right it should be, if, I sh if the curve was shaped maybe a little bit more appropriately. But that's sort of an illustration of a nice bacterial growth problem where you just use the basic model. We know what the solution, form of the solution looks like. You just need some other piece of information to find that constant proportionality k. And once you do that, then you should build it. And of course, use your initial condition 
to get the P0 there as the multiplier. But then when you have that, you can simply answer any question you want. You can answer any question about how long is it going to take to achieve a particular amount of population of the bacteria.